damn, did this just delete my whole video? Guys, a big problem most small businesses have is procrastination. Now, when it comes to sending out invoices to your customers, this can be a problem. The reason why is because this is your bloodline. Money in is what allows your business to grow. Money out causes your business to fail. This tool that I'm about to expose you guys to is gonna help eliminate that procrastination when it comes to sending out invoices and helping your customers. It actually helped us generate over $300,000 in the last two years, and it's super simple, super easy to use. And the software that I'm talking about is Wave Apps. For you guys that don't know what this software is, there's an array of videos on YouTube that explain this software, but basically it's an administrative administrative accounting tool that allows you to send invoices, pay your bills, run payroll, bookkeeping, and just track all of your reports and your data all within one application. Now, prior to using this, I was using Excel spreadsheets. Excel spreadsheets were the worst things because I was always having to create new spreadsheets, add different line items, and continuously replicate the same thing over and over and over again. Well, this eliminates that tedious activity because everything is saved within the software. So I'm not gonna talk so much. We're gonna jump over to the computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go. All right, guys, now that we're at the computer, let's get into the actual software itself. But first and foremost, before you guys, we get into this, make sure you like and subscribe because I actually pulled a rib out of place. I dislocated a rib. It's so hard to breathe. It hurts like hell. So if you're watching this, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment so that this explodes and gets out to a larger audience um, just because I'm in pain and I'm doing this for you guys. All right, but um, let's get straight into it. So here we're in the Wave app system. This is the tool that I use. Prior to using this system, I was using Excel spreadsheet. Um, Excel, it's so hard to use. Well, I wouldn't say it's so hard to use. At the time, it was the only thing that I knew. Um, but as time progressed, I realized that Excel wasn't really the most effective way of sending out invoices, especially because everything was, was manual, right? So once the spreadsheet was created, you didn't have to continuously recreate the spreadsheet, but adding those line items into that spreadsheet to send out to a client was extremely manual. Um, and it would take 30 to an hour at a time per uh, invoice, depending on the projects that the client needed. So doing some digging, of course you have QuickBooks, but QuickBooks is a system that you have to pay for. For, right now if your business isn't generating a substantial amount of money per year um, that can eat away at your profit it could eat away at your revenue right so finding something that works for you at your business's current stand uh, stance is effective and it's necessary so that's where we stumbled across this system wave apps right so if we go into some of the features right so actually let's go into pricing you'll see invoicing is absolutely free. Accounting is absolutely free. Banking is also free with this system. Now, of course they do charge um, a credit card processing fee when it comes to Amex, Visa cards, MasterCards, all of that there. There is payroll fees. So if you wanna use this system for payroll, you can do so. Um, we use ADP, but if you want to use this, you can absolutely do so. Advisors, I've never uh, used this feature here or looked into this bookkeeping support. I do have a, an accountant that takes care of that for me. So this is unnecessary for us. But you can see, I mean, invoicing is completely free. Accounting is free. Banking is free. And then, of course, these features here. Uh, payroll is a monthly fee. Payments is per use. So if you send out an invoice and someone pays using the system, them, then they charge you, but they won't charge you just to send out the invoice. Um, we accept all formats of payments, whether it's through this system, uh, Zelle, Cash App, Venmo, Wire Transfer, we accept all of those. But of course, we tell clients that, you know, we prefer to use certain um, electronic payment systems based off of the fact that they don't charge those fees up front and we can pay for it on the back end when it comes time to pay our taxes. All right. So, now that we kind of looked at this, you guys can dig through this um, if you want to later on. And I'll have a link down below for you guys to sign up for this if you guys are interested in learning about this. The sign up is free. There's nothing that they charge you. Um, I really don't even think there's an affiliate program. So the link is just a link to this website to use it. This video is no way sponsored by Waves. This is just literally what we've been using for the past two years and it works for us. So as we sign in here, 
you know, I'm already signed in. But the first thing that we're gonna do, right, is look at this dashboard. So the dashboard will show you your cash flow. So all the invoices you sent out, cash that came in, your outflow that went out. So if you're using their bookkeeping feature, it'll show you the outflow. Because we don't use it, you won't see that here on our dashboard, but it'll show you our profits and losses, overdue invoices, um, payables and owing. So the la for the things that are coming due in the next 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, uh, 90 days plus. It'll show you all of that there, show you the income that came in, the expenses, the net income. It'll break all of this down in these easy to read, easy to follow reports. So you have all of this just at your fingertips within the software and it's completely free. There's nothing that you're paying for when it comes to this. Now, where we spend the most of our time is within sales and payments. So we don't look at purchases, accounting, banking, payroll. We don't really look at all of this outside of reports. The bulk of our time, I'd say about 90% of our time is focused in sales and payments because this is where we look at our products, we make it changes to our products, and we also send out invoices and estimates. So the first section I wanna show you guys is products and services. So within products and services, you'll see this is everything that we ever um, tracked within this software. It tracks everything for us. It keeps it as a line item and we can make changes to all of these items. So it doesn't matter what it is, what we were working on, we can absolutely see every last product that was here. It'll give us the amount that we charge as well as the item and then the description of that product. And then we have the ability to make edits to the description, to the name of the product or the price. And you'll see once we go into invoices, how you can't edit the the names of the products you can edit the description so for instance if it was a pergola right that someone wanted but they didn't want cedar wood they wanted to use i don't know sapele or something like that we can change that here or we can change that within invoices but pergola 16 by 14.5 foot if it was let's say a 20 by 20 we would have to make that change here by clicking edit and then making that change directly to the name we can make the description changes if we need to change the prices and all that there within here and then save it and then once we go into invoices all of these changes will be seen within invoices right but you'll see here i mean all of these items are just listed so compared to using an excel spreadsheet where everything is manual if someone wants an accent wall you literally have to copy and paste those line items if you have them saved somewhere else into that excel spreadsheet if they wanted some more projects you would have to go find the the prices and all that there for those products to put them into your invoice and then dish it off which is it's timely it takes a lot of time but within here everything is saved so if you're sending an invoice for an accent wall, you just type in accent wall, it pops up for you, you can send that out. If you're doing something for a bar, you can type bar and send it out. If it's a brand new product that you're um, creating, then you would have to go through the flow of figuring out all the materials needed for that project. But for us, we tend to stick within three to about five different products when it comes to our product line. We look at accent walls, um, built in so cabinets floating shelves we do some cutting board custom cutting boards for realtors and then tables whether it's in a river table or just like a walnut desk we focus on those products right so all of that is listed here under products and services when you guys sign up for this you'll be able to like mess around with this and see your products and services and make changes so you can familiarize yourself with the software but let's go into invoices. So now that we're in invoices, you'll see that up here at the top, it'll tell us what's overdue, um, what's due in the next 30 days, the average time to get paid. Now this is gonna be a little skewed for us because we really don't use this system to collect payments often. If it's convenient for our customer, then we tell them, yeah, go ahead and use it. But we use our other preferred uh, formats of payments, right? So you'll have all of that information. You'll have your customer's information here as far as like the amount is due and things of that nature, right? But right up top here where it says create invoices, where we're gonna go. So once we come here, you have you can see how easy and simple this software is to just plug and play. There's no uh, learning curve that comes with this. It's, it's literally drop down and everything is self-explanatory. So here where it says quote, you can change that to estimate if you wanted to read estimate. Um, summary, let's say that we're doing a accent wall in a bedroom. 
we'll type in master bedroom accent wall. And then what's cool about this is you can actually add your business logo to make this look even more professional, right? So we've added this business logo about two years ago. We left it there, don't make any changes. So whenever our invoices go out, it goes out with this business logo. We have the titled information, our business name, all of that there. We can add our business address if we want to and contact details if necessary. But most of our clients, they already get it via email. So it's not something that is necessary at that given point in time. And then when we come down to this section here, you're looking at your invoice numbers. Um, so we're on invoice 220, the invoice date, you could change your payment due date. So let's say you're booking for April and you want to ensure that you collect payment 30 days in advance, then you'll put March 1st as a payment due date and it'll send a notification out to your clients um, on this day to let them know that they need to pay to get on calendar for April. And then when it comes to customers, this is where you'll find all your customer details. So if you're do dealing with a, a business, let's just say um, Hobby Lobby, right? You would just put Hobby Lobby as the business or the customer. But let, for this example, we're gonna put John Doe as a person that we're working with. So John Doe's email, John Doe test at gmail.com. Right, phone number 777, 777, 777, because John Doe is lucky, right? And then his first name is John, last name Doe. And we'll save that. So now your customer's information is saved within this invoice. So when it comes time to email this out, it's it's automated, okay? There's nothing else that you need to do when it comes to your customer. So now when we get to our line items, this is where you see all of those products from the products and services tab, all of these items are here. So any changes you make here on products and services will show up here in your invoicing tab. So let's just say, because we're doing an accent wall, we'll type in accent wall, and every accent wall line item that we've ever created will show up here. So living room accent wall, modern accent wall, labor only, modern wainscoting accent wall. Um, we'll focus on this one, modern accent wall bedroom, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And then you'll see here in the description, or first you'll see as the item name, you can't edit it. You can only do that on the products and services. But here in the description, <laughs> bless me, Whew. that hurt. Ooh, that hurt. Come on, let's keep going. But here for one by two by three or one by two by eight wood trim, we're gonna change it to one by three by eight wood trim. Uh, we're gonna use brad nails, caulking, adhesive, paint and primer, painter's tape, rollers, drop cloth, all of that there. And down at the bottom, we always have this little disclaimer where it says price includes prep work, materials, labor, and touch up. Um, just so the client is aware that this price includes all of that and they're not just paying for us to do an install and they need to go find a painter to finish the product. So what I like about this tool, right, is the fact that it eliminates any math that you need to do. So let's say the client's wall is 19.5 feet long, right? And our linear foot rate is $200. So 19.5 feet and the price per linear foot is $200. It's gonna calculate that to let me know the amount that that client is gonna be charged, right? So it literally does not matter what I change this to, it's gonna change that amount, okay? And if I wanna add sales tax, I can simply do that here, the sales tax rate, let's say 6% um, GA sales tax, because we're here in Georgia, I should save that. Uh, GA tax, let's see if that works. So we put GA tax and it'll add the taxed amount to this invoice with, and it'll calculate everything for us without us having to do anything. And what's great about this is when it comes to the end of the year, it'll pull a report of the sales tax that our, we collected from our clients. So you're not having to do this math at the end of the year, all right? Um, we don't charge this to our customers. We we eat that sales tax cost and we take care of it at the end of the year. But consult with your tax advisor on um, the sales tax of your state, of your region, to figure out if you need to charge it or if you don't need to charge it. All right, guys, so once you've created all of this here, right, if there's a discount, for instance, let's say they want a sweepstakes or, you know, they were referred by someone and you were offering a discount, you can add that discount here. So let's say 
customer referral right and then if it's a percentage amount let's just say it is 10 percent so it'll take that 10 percent amount off the subtotal minus the sales tax right and then it'll give you the final amount down here so you literally have to do no math whatsoever using this tool and this is completely free free it does you can do as many invoices as you want and there's no price that is charged to you or billed to you for using this tool so once you've created all this here if there's a note or a term you want to add down below feel free to do so this is what goes out in all of our our invoices thank you for considering wood woodwork llc for your home renovation projects we look forward to serving you that's just what's there uh require customer to agree to terms and services before paying by credit card this is if you have your terms and services down here um it's just a disclaimer that makes them accept the terms and conditions and then you can send off uh, the invoice and they can make the payment. But what we do is after they receive this, if they agree to it, we work with them to find the date that we're gonna start the project. And then we send them a contract that has all of the detailed information that they sign off on and we sign off on, all right? So once you've had all of that there, you can add some type of thank you note to your footer. You click save and continue. And then from here, it says this is a drive you can further take action once approved so basically you'll just look over it make sure everything looks good nothing is wrong all right and then we approve the draft if the, you need to edit it you click edit draft and you can make the edits and the changes and then here it just shows you invoice one more time so you can see it you got your business logo looking professional estimate master bedroom accent wall shows you all of this key information that is listed here it has the discount listed as well um, everything looks professional right and then schedule reminders after due date so you can add reminders but here you can have it on due date three days after seven days after 14 days after and you can also add specific dates that you want to list right and you click send invoice and then from here it's going to send it from our email address to their email address you can also add somebody else's email address so let's say if it's a um a husband and a wife and they both want the invoice you can add the wife's email as well as a husband's email and then for the subject line we always put invoice or estimate from wood woodwork we just type a little message so good morning john attached is your estimate for the accent wall project let's put that there and you can send a copy to myself meaning you can send a copy to your email to make sure that you know it was sent and you received it and then what we always do is attach it as a PDF. So instead of it being a line item within the email, it's attached as a PDF separately. So if the client needs to print it out or if we need to print it out, we can print out the invoice instead of printing out a whole email uh, conversation, the sense. So once you do that there, you click send and then it sends it out to the customer. And then after the email is sent, we always reach out to the client just to let them know that the invoice was sent because if it's the first line of communication, sometimes it ends up in the spam folder. Um, so we always tell them, hey, check your spam folder if you don't see it in your main mailbox. But this is the software that we use in a, uh, in a nutshell. Of course, we didn't cover all of the great details of this software. There's so much more that this is capable of doing, but what we use it for and what we found success using this software for, it works perfectly fine for our business. If you guys are interested in this software, if you guys want me to cover anything else within the software, leave it down below. Let me know what else you guys would like to see. And if you like this type of content, definitely drop it down below so that I know that, okay, business administration con administrative content um, works for you guys. So. I'm Anil from Woody Woody Work. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Till the next one. Peace.